Good morning. Our friend Li Xu is doing his homework. So we are gonna do some food homework, learning about the local food of Huaping. Okay, so we got a location walking to downtown. It's gonna be about a 15 minute walk and it's about 20 degrees. Perfect morning temperature. Hey, right. Where are we going next? Okay, so this is the main town road. Entering the downtown area, I guess. <laughs> Let's go find some snacks. So here is the main market area. Definitely in the right place. Okay, this is just the morning market. Whenever you travel anywhere, you have to visit at least one market in the town where you're staying. Oh, oh, oh. I see something I love here. The fresh Sichuan peppercorns, red and green. Those are so beautiful, man. Okay, just the one that I took. I can't even talk. That's amazing. Yeah, those are fresh. Oh my gosh. One berry. I just sampled one berry. Oh yeah, they are berries, by the way. In English, call them Sichuan peppercorns. But pepper, I think, is a type of berry, anyways. In Northern Thailand, they use makwen, which is a similar, uh, similar type of plant, similar feeling, but nothing can compare to the numbing power. And I just took one berry to sample. That's how you know they are fresh. Whew. That's amazing. That is amazing. The like half of my mouth is just numb. That's awesome. Sweet, like a type of sweet potato. And then this is hong, hong tang, some red sugar, locally made sugar. And seeing some more species of local chilies. That, that is a Thai, that's a Thai chili. Oh yeah. So that's five. Five RMB right there. Here you can see all the sellers use this so well. They all have a little tag with their own personalized payment QR code. One of the revolutions for me in all of Chinese food is the fact that you can eat the lotus tuber, like the, I think it's the rhizome that grows under the ground deep under the water. We ate this last night from their garden, but this one is special. I will study, try to find the name in English. But the stalk, obviously it's huge. The stalk and the leaves, the greens are both useful. Another massive section of food is Tofu, soybean stuff, just so many different products, food products made from soybeans. Okay, I don't know what this is. This jia tofu. Jia tofu. Oh. Oh, okay, deep fried tofu, stinky tofu. And then here is, wow, they must make it like in a bathtub, it's so big. Old. It's just called old tofu lao. Lao is old. Okay, this is also part of our lunch today. But we're gonna keep walking around exploring for a while before before that time. China has so many different kinds of oranges and actually oranges come from China originally. It's cool how they always give you a a taste test. They'll they'll have a few that are cut up just sitting in the pack sitting on top and you can just pick and taste. Mmm. Dry mango. Hua Ping is famous for the mango and they also dry them like we saw at Li Shi's house. So he just gave me a huge, a huge chunk. Mm. That is awesome. Mm. So these Oranges, chen, chen, zi, oh, okay. A kind of 
orange. I don't know in English. In Chinese, it's called ju, juzi. So much fruit here. I think. I think all of these. Yeah, all of these are grown in China. Mango. Uh, what is mango? <laughs> My Chinese skills, little. The shop owner is very friendly. He was noticing how I was tripping out over the massive size of his mangoes. So, but he gave me a whole side of one to eat. And you can see, I started eating too fast. I didn't take a video. It's like that mango that has just zero sourness. It's so ripe, there's no sourness left. So it's a little, a little overly sweet, but okay, I love mango. I love it. And it smells incredible. That's my favorite part about mango. This is how you check for all fruits in China. Hit them. <laughs> Look at the size of that mango. Oh my gosh. That's, yeah, that's insane. You don't want to bruise it yourself, but you can definitely press and feel and just judging by the color, once you get to know different species of mangoes. See, changing from red to green to yellow, so this one is probably ripe soon. Just look at the size of those, man. So fat, not just tall, but so fat. As a gift. No, dude, come on. Dude. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, so he's just giving me these these mangoes. Man. Yeah, these are these are gonna be very sweet. I can tell already. Wow. Okay, now we're walking around the market. Man, that's so cool. That guy. That guy just gave us the mangoes for free and I smell stinky tofu is somewhere around here. It's almost like durian. You can just sense when it's nearby. Walking out of the market now and this tree wants us to notice it. It's putting off a lot of flowers on the ground so that we don't forget to look up. But check out the trunk. You gotta have some skill to climb this tree as a kid. Mm. There's the flower. That's so cool. Oh. <laughs> sleep in the late morning just like wanting to stay asleep like maybe like a human also sometimes they're just shutting their eyes so hard trying to stay warm just keep the sleep going <laughs> okay oh we're at the river now oh yeah okay this town has a really pretty river walk check this out China just kills it with the really perfectly manicured and beautiful natural free public gardens. Dude, these flowers are crazy. There's a purple one. See if you can get it in the light. Had to stop and sit down. Sit down for a little bit. Look at this. And it goes all the way. We already walked a little bit, but it goes all the way down there. It has these willows. 
Here's one bridge, there's another bridge. Look at that. I don't think I've been anywhere where public walking areas are as beautifully manicured as they are in China. The public places for walking in the morning and I guess early evening are just really well taken care of in China. The huge public parks in the in the downtown areas of cities will just blow you away with how much greenery. In the midst of all the huge urban designs, also the natural designs are so beautiful. Okay, and Lee couldn't wait to try these awesome oranges. Jiu ah. Jiu a. Jiu a. Jiu a. Jiu a. Jiu a. A lot of juice. Wow. That's awesome. And one, one thing you gotta know walking around China, public bathrooms are not so prevalent. So when you see one, make sure make sure to use it. And then this is also one country where you're going to need to travel with uh, tissue and hand sanitizer in your bag at all times. I try to do that everywhere I go, but in China, you're definitely going to need those two things. Hey, dude, our friend couldn't wait. I guess he was hungry. He was doing his homework. I guess he got, I guess he got bored, but that's okay. So we're going home to cook lunch. Okay, so we're gonna go in the garden, pick a few more vegetables and it'll be time for lunch. Okay. I'm sitting here working, but he just came and let me taste some of the. He just pulled some pickled vegetables out of the that massive jar that they use. Yes, dude. So this is the secret to southern Chinese fermentation, right here. You see how they seal the top, it's like a bowl and they invert it and then this is filled with water so it keeps out bacteria. I think it's actually, it actually makes it airtight too, really. Yeah, it does. Dude, that's awesome. So I don't know how, how many people reach in with their hands, but that's what teenage boys do. Garlic, ginger, cabbage, different kinds of chilies. Magic. Wow. Oh, and this is like a drying room. Check that out. Dude, yeah. That flavor, that vinegar is so intense. Wow. Okay, let's go see what they're doing in the kitchen. More things like that. Hello. There's the tofu we bought from the market. Vegetables from their garden. Yes. One of my favorite things. The liang ao. The lotus root. Oh my gosh, the pork and peas, the pickled cabbage, fresh tofu, and the Sichuan peppercorns. So just got to taste one of those first. Oh my gosh. So you saw straight from that earth jar. Now that's a powerful flavor. Try that the next time you have a whole head of garlic sitting on the counter. Just eat one entire clove. Sometimes it can be spicier than chili. Speaking of chili. 
Mm. You cannot beat the Southern Chinese style pickled chili peppers. Wow. How mm. Oh my. Okay, this is a new one for me. These are two types of noodles. Liang fan. So it's liang fan. So this is going to be homemade noodles. Wow. Just look at that texture. And then she poured on the the mash of dried, fried peanuts, chilies, and cilantro, and then vinegar, I'm sure. Oh, it's a type of bean. Both of those are types of beans. Okay, this is like the small green bean, and this is a red bean flour in the and then mixed with rice rice flour one of my favorite dishes from leo joe was the was the cold noodle salad super spicy and cold such a combination those two things okay okay lunchtime coming this is yun tuan yun tuan is a square and a dumpling is a circle and there's a different style of wrapping so you clean your hands first, and I'm watching the master. This is a Ah, okay. You <laughs> Dude, that is so cool. Okay, okay. I'm not, I'm gonna fail the first time. I'm sure. So I was wrong. It's not even Yunton. It's Chow Show. It's bigger. She does a little folding trick that I gotta I gotta watch a few times. So she folds and then she touches with water again here. I'm gonna wait to see that folding move. Oh, okay, so she wraps like both sides to meet. I guess something like that. You gotta get it to all stick together so that the inside does not release when you put it right in the boiling water. Okay, so I've practiced a few more times. Maybe I can do it smoothly now. You scoop with the chopsticks, you take the meat, you wet one side, put the chopsticks down, you fold it over, press where you wet, and then you wet one more time. And then you're gonna do that spin move. Press and put her there. Oh, that was mine. See, I broke it. <laughs> so the important thing is you don't leave any opening. It's not important how much filling you have inside or really your style of folding. You just got to get it so it doesn't break open and leave a bunch of pork floating around in the, in the bowl. So if you notice, dad is home because Chinese have a sort of like in Europe, a siesta, they have like a midday long break and then they will go back to work and work another significant time period before they come back home for dinner. So there's like a mid, so like two hours, two hours, even in school, school kids can come home, have a nap and then go back to class. And I would say that helps the productivity to have a midday nap. I think a lot of countries forget about how necessary it is to take quality rest. So I like that about, about China. Dude! Okay, so mom has hooked it up with the home veg. Smell that Sichuan peppercorn. Oh man, so the chili paste loving it loving it and then that is fresh crushed Sichuan peppercorn you have the, not yun tun what is the name chao shao chao shao the huge wrapped with rice flour pork chive 
green onion mix inside. Then you have their homegrown vegetables. Oh my gosh, look at these. Okay, never had something like that before, I'm sure. And then the pork sweet cured sausage with the peas, tofu with the pickled vegetables. And then here are just some pickled vegetables on their own. That's gonna be spicy. Oh my gosh. And then I bought these. Uh, because beer actually is so much cheaper in China compared to Thailand, so it's a good chance to taste some some beer. Okay. Very happy to be here again. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Those are mega hot. You gotta be careful when you are eating anything steamed or soup with Chinese. Don't judge by the speed at which they are eating. You gotta still take care of yourself. It's like such an impressive skill of Chinese. How hot of things they can eat. I can eat chili as much as anyone, but man, they really can eat things like right out of the bubbling, boiling soup. Mm. Those homegrown vegetables, man. Okay. <laughs> Cheers, man. And the special, you see it's made in... It's made in China. It's a German recipe and they sell it in China. Wow. Cheers. Cheers. Do you want to share? Sure. Uh, Dark beer is definitely a treat mm, yeah. for me. Ah, wow. mm. 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 So cool to just make it like 20 minutes ago. Mm. Mm. Okay, in Thailand they call this Kun Chiang. It's like a Chinese sweet uh, cured ham, like a ham sausage. Eat it with Kao Kuka Pig and the peas. Mm. And those huge pieces of fried tofu. Man, thank you. And then this is the pickled home, home pickled cabbage. <laughs> that is so awesome. Everything's so fresh. That is just the, really the Chinese style. So fresh, everything. Mm. The one more thing I forgot. Really, really excited to try that because I've never had, never had this before. So that liang is like cool or cold. Liang fun is the noodle flour, but before made into noodles, you can just eat it like a chunk like this. Make a spicy salad of it like this. It's like textural and spicy. So, so unique, so awesome. And then remember, it's two kinds of beans, dried, pounded, blend the flour with rice flour to make these. Mm. Oh man. The yellow one is even better than the brown one. Oh my gosh. No. Okay, we're gonna enjoy lunch. See you in a bit. Chili cheers. Mm. The home pickled chili flavor. Mm. What is that? So I think he's challenging me again. Yeah, those are spicy. Wow. La. That in Chinese you say la is spicy. La. 
Wow, that is awesome. And then the, the sour flavor is such a good comparison. What a meal. Oh my. Okay. I think everyone's going to take their rest. I'm going to make a cup of coffee and work a little bit and then we're going to go going to go back out and explore with our friend Li Xu. So in Chinese, for your friend's mother, you call her Ai, which is, I think, like your own mother. She saw me working. She brought me a snack. Loving these mangoes. See, see, Ai. Fruit is already my favorite thing to eat. Mangoes might be my favorite fruit. And to come on accident, to a friend's village that specializes in all things mango. It's just awesome. Mm. Wow. So really, one thing you got to know though about dried fruit is that it still has the same amount of calories as the whole fruit, but because there's no water in it, almost no water in it, um, it looks to your eyes like so much less space that you can really eat a lot of it, but dried fruit, you do have to be careful. If you're not doing like heavy exercise, dried fruit can really add up the calories just for a healthy, just for a healthy note. So it is a treat. Mm, it's such a tasty treat. Oh man. 